Hi guys, uh, just a quick one from me today where we'll be taking a portrait using the lighting technique short light. It's used very often in film and produces quite a dramatic look and is very often used uh, with male portraits. Today I've got Tony with me and we're going to do a simple portrait using this technique and if we need to use fill light or a backlight we can. So essentially this could start with a one light setup ranging right away to the top of three lights. Okay, let's talk about the lighting setup for this shoot, shooting short light, okay? To my left, we have a 27 inch beauty dish with diffuser sock on the front. Right down low and in the center, we have this backlight, backdrop light, that's gonna shine directly onto the backdrop with a 20 degree grid on the front. Tony, the model, will be sat on the stool. The stool is positioned, I would say, around about five foot from the backdrop, and Tony will, in turn, hide this backlight away from viewer's sight. To my right, we've got a strip box, and on the front of the strip box is the egg crate grid. What that does is it channels the light in towards Anthony if we need it. Now, you could get quite a dramatic shot with just the booty dish, just the key light. However, if I need some fill, we could either use a reflector or, as I'm gonna show you today, I'll use the strip box, okay? So it's a three light setup and the distance of these lights from the model is as follows. So the light is positioned around about four foot from the backdrop with Tony sat in front, five foot. And then at 45 degree, to Tony's right will be this grid box, and that in turn is also about four foot away, okay? The key light that's slightly, that's probably 90 degree to Tony and a little more to the rear, that is set at 45 degrees down, and again, it's around about four foot away. So without further ado, we're gonna jump in, take some portraits with just the single light, then the backlight, then the fill light and we'll combine the three together and hopefully uh, get quite a good dramatic portrait. Okay, I'm just gonna take a test shot with just the fill light. So, Tony, if you could just hold that pose there, that's great. As you can see, a good bit of fill. It's, quite, it's still quite obviously very dark and, uh, and quite moody and dramatic, but it's enough just to light the one side of Tony's face, providing the key light goes brighter than this initial fill light, okay? What we'll do now is we will take a shot with just the, the backlight shining on to the backdrop. Okay, Tony, and same pose again. That's great, hold that. Great stuff, okay. As you can see, Tony's a complete silhouette, but there is just a shimmer of light on the background, and I think I'm relatively happy with that. That, along with the fill light, is enough to sort of make Tony pop off the backdrop, if you like. And uh, we'll finally now go to add in the main booty dish, the key light. As you can see, that's great. The backlight really just gives it enough light for Tony's image to pop out off the backdrop. And uh, I can see, obviously, the key light is, is brighter than the fill light, giving it that sort of stronger, dramatic look over on our right-hand side, Tony's left. The final settings for the lights on this were the fill light A, uh, light A was 1 64th. The main key light was 1 8th of the power. And finally, the backlight was 1 64th. So that's down very, very low, but just enough to make it pop. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take a few more pictures until I'm happy with the portrait that we get. And you'll see the final result after we finish shooting. 
So you can see by just using the one key like the booty dish, that gives us quite a, a dark dramatic effect. Myself personally, I do prefer this effect with the other two lights, the fill light and the backdrop light as well. You can see the variations. And as you can see by the, the last image, the final image, that's with all three lights lit. That's the image I prefer. However, each to their own, and it just goes to show that this light works with just the one light. Next up, what we're gonna do is, Anthony has been growing this beard since way before Christmas <laughs> and, uh, for a photo shoot. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna have a little bit of fun before he takes the beard off and we'll make some shapes with his face, shall we say. And uh, we'll do the look again, but this time with, uh, with a different look. So uh, let's see what we come up with. Okay guys, that's it. This is Tony uh, minus the beard. So look, we had great fun doing it. That's an example of short light and that's with using the fill and the backlight too. So it's a three light setup. You can get away with the one. I prefer it with the three. Just for your information, uh, I shoot with a Sony a7R4 with the Odin trigger that controls the lights on top and my trusty Benro Mac 3 tripod with the G3 ball head. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's short lighting. This is Tony, I'm Ian, and I'm out of here.